Hey guys, welcome back to Theo Joe Tech. Today's topic, I really wanted to talk about something that I think is important, and that's two-factor authentication. I'm sure you've at least heard of this. If you haven't, then definitely stay tuned. But basically what this is, is it adds another layer of security by making you type in a second temporary password. When you log into some website, any website pretty much, you have to type in a password, but adding a second factor of authentication makes it so even if someone has your password and wants to get into your account, they still can't get in because they don't have the second password. Now the second password can come in several forms. A lot of websites offer to send a text message with a temporary password. They will have maybe an app that you can use that'll generate a code. There are also apps like Google Authenticator or Authy that will be able to do this for pretty much any website, there's a standard one-time password protocol that a lot of apps support. There's even physical keys that you can have. For example, let me get this. I have a, this is a YubiKey. This is a Google Gmail key. It's It'll work with pretty much any website that supports a U2F protocol, but this was advertised as a Gmail security key because this is uh, really cheap, only less than $20 and works with Google accounts. And what this is, is when you log into your Google account, you type in your password and then it asks you to insert this key and press the button. And then that way no one can have a man in the middle attack and steal your password. And the good thing about a physical key like this, I mentioned man in the middle attack. What that is, is say you're at Starbucks and even if you have two factor authentication on, but you have a compromised connection. So someone's listening in on your connection. You type in your password, someone has that password now that they're listening in. And then even if you get a password sent to your phone, a temporary password, you still have to type that in so the attacker could listen in and get that password and intercept it before it gets to Google and then they'd be able to log in your account. But with this, there's got some you know encryption stuff I don't fully understand, but basically you plug this in, they can't steal it. You might have also seen little key fobs. They're, a little dongle that generates a new number every few seconds and it's synced up to the server. So a lot of companies have that to log into their system. But the extra security you get for using two-factor authentication is really worth any tiny bit of inconvenience, I think. YouTube has it in the form of the Google account. I highly recommend if you have a YouTube account or a Google account that you value at all, enable two-factor authentication on it. You can have it sent to your phone. You can have the Google Authenticator app. And you know, it's just peace of mind because for me, especially you can imagine my Google account's very important to me. If anyone got a hold of that, it'd be a bad day. But I don't have to worry about that because there's two-factor authentication. You use a really strong password. There's really no chance that everyone anyone's gonna take it. And especially for emails, if even if it's not Gmail, if your email client supports two-factor authentication, if it's online, you should really use it because someone gets hold of your email, you know, they can reset pretty much any password. Now there's actually a site I recommend called twofactorauth.org which lists pretty much any popular website and whether or not they support two-factor authentication and which forms of it. It'll also tell you if there are sites where it's coming soon or if they don't support it at all. So it's really useful. Maybe there's a site you didn't know, they have the setting hidden away or something. I recommend you, you know, you enable it on any site you can that you value at all. I mean, this day and age, you hear about stolen passwords all the time, and it just adds another level of security where even if the password gets stolen, obviously you still need to change your password, but it'll reduce the likelihood that someone would be able to even get into your account before you can change it. So yeah, this was really a simple topic, but I thought it was really important, so I mentioned it to you guys. You can talk about it in the comments section. Maybe you have your favorite method of authentication. Maybe you have a YubiKey that supports a lot of different protocols and you recommend it. We can all talk about it in the comments section below. You guys can give it a thumbs up if you like the video. If you wanna subscribe, I try to make new videos three times a week. And you can also check out some old videos on the right hand side if you're interested in those. You can either click the annotation or all links will also be in the description if you're on a phone or something. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.